Hello friends, we've made it through. We've made it through this series called The Marvels of Water. We've been looking at hydrotherapy. We've gone through and explained in seven remedy videos. We looked at hot foot bath, fomentations, heating compress, contrast bath, salt glow, ice massage, and also sitz bath. These are six remedies that you can use to be a great blessing to someone you know, or you can practice these on yourself. You can utilize these on yourself and help to remedy whatever conditions that you may have. I just want to recommend some resources for you. It's always good if we do further study. So many of you I know have this book here, Back to Eden by Jethro Kloss. If you look in there, there's a chapter, there's a whole section called Water Cure, I believe it's called. You want to look in that uh, section, read and study for more information to follow up on what we've been going through in this series. This is an excellent resource. Also, another more recent book here. This is called Hydrotherapy, Simple Treatments for Common Ailments. And this is by uh, Dr. Clarence Dale and also Dr. Charles Thomas. So these two uh, resources right here, I highly recommend those. So don't just go by what you've learned, what you've seen through these six videos. You can do that, you would get a lot of benefit, but do some further study. Also, if any of you have Dr. Agatha Thrash's book, Home Remedies, that is also another great resource. All right, so we've, as I mentioned, we've been going through this and I wanna say again, as I've been saying through all the different videos, all the different remedies, that if we wanna become proficient at this, you must please practice, it must become practical. This will not do much good if, it's, if we're just being a spectator with this. So if it's a hot foot bath, if it's fomentation or the sits bath, whichever one, ask someone to give it on you, a spouse or a son or daughter, give it on you, you give it on them, practice, and then God will place people in our path that we can use to be a blessing to. I wanna read this quote again, that you've been seeing after each and every uh, remedy. It's this quote here from Medical Ministry, page 57. We received some counsels on water treatment. It says this, water treatments wisely and skillfully given may be the means, what does it say? Of saving many lives. The Lord can use me, he can use you to be that that instrument, this tool in his hands. It says, let diligent study be united with careful treatments. Let prayers of faith be offered by the bedside of the sick. So we're combining the practical and the spiritual. Let the sick be encouraged to claim the promises of God for themselves. So as I said, friends, we're going to pray before each remedy. We're going to give these very study these very practiced uh, remedies that we've been working with. We're gonna be praying by people's bedside, and then we're gonna encourage the sick to claim the promises of God for themselves. We know that Jesus is coming very soon, and he has given us an everlasting gospel to give to many who are sick. And we've seen here just lately, even more so, how many are in despair. We wanna be used as a tool in his hands. What do you say? Before we end this series, I would like to read this, just one verse from the last book of the Bible and from the last chapter. That is Revelation chapter 22 and verse 17. It says, And the Spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is of thirst come, and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely. Friends, let, let you and I have a revival of primitive godliness. Let us take that water of life freely and let us be used by God to share that water with others using water treatments to reach more souls for the kingdom of God. Let's close with prayer, shall we? Father in heaven, we're so grateful because we know, again, that you are a loving God. You give us hope, Lord. And I pray that you would be with the 
many people who have been listening to this series have been tuning in and been practicing. Lord, we pray that you would touch them in a special way, whether they've been using it for themselves or becoming equipped to share it for others or a combination of both. Lord, we pray that you would bless our efforts and to use us that we may touch souls for your kingdom. We thank you, Lord, and we ask for your continued blessings. In Jesus' name, we pray that all God's people say, Amen. God bless you, friends. Maranatha.